Capers from Humboldt Yacht Club. I want to introduce the Club Laser to our members. And I'm not a laser sailor, so don't give me, don't, don't, don't hate on me if I do something wrong here. But I'm just gonna basically set up the boat and uh, and and get it ready. So if you would like to use the Club Laser, just contact me or the port captain and make arrangements for using the boat anytime. It's one of the benefits of being a member at Humboldt Yacht Club. The boat was donated by Jim Christopher and uh, it sails fantastically well. It's great. In the bag, there's a little sail bag, uh, we kind of have the kit set up. So we have the sail, the main sheet for the sail, this is the boom vang, and this is the Cunningham. Also we have battens for the sail and a little Windex to help you decipher the direction of the wind. And it's all packed up into the bag, ready to go. Uh, we have three battens, short one and two long ones that are the same length. And they go in the sail pockets, the batten pockets. Short one goes here. There's a wee little pocket. Just tuck it in and slide it into the slot. Go in there. Long ones go in their pockets. Just like a wee little pocket. So now we're going to tilt the boat down and slide the sail over the top of the mast. And we want to have the seam for the sail lined up with this attachment. This is where the boom goes. So it might be easier to have it off the gooseneck and just tie this on. If you use a reef knot, nice and tight. That at least gets the sail attached and we'll be able to mount it. This red line is our outhaul. And we kind of have to do a few little steps be able to pull our outhaul out really tight when the wind is strong. And please tuck it through. Little fussy. Alright, that could work, but it actually doesn't give us a lot of purchase. So then I'm gonna tie figure eight on a bite. So we'll be able to get it untied later. And have this work as a double purchase. So go back through here. And it's, again, it's a little fussy, but it will go through twice. Sometimes it's a, uh, I say you can't push rope, right? So we kind of have to twizzle it a little bit. There we go. All right. So what that does is that gives us a double purchase right here. So then we can pull our outhaul really tight if we need to, if the wind picks up. So this is our boom thing, and the top has this little T, T bolt that goes right in this pocket here and holds that. This side goes to this attachment here with a split ring. Alright, boom 
things on, ready to go. Next, we need our Cunningham. So that's the other thing that happens here is when the wind comes up, we really need to have a reduction or a, a tightening of our sail here. So this uh, Cunningham, I think it's optimal to have this pulley up at the very top of the sail, this block at the very top of the sail, that gives us the most amount of pulling distance. So we'll, we'll uh, undo this bull one real quick. And feed it through the attachment at the boom vang. Tire bowl. If I had been a little more proactive, I probably could have just slipped it through. Yeah. Okay. So now we have two lines. We have this line here, and this line here. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go have the red line on one side the boom bang down at the bottom. We're gonna use this as our anchor. And, I, and and maybe this is for something else, but this seems like a really easy way to do this. To get the most amount of tension between block, the top block and the bottom block. And then we have the boom bang here. And it's gonna come down through the second block. I'm not boom bang, Cunningham. Cunningham down through the second block and we'll be able to run it to here. That'll let us tighten this adjustment really tight if the wind picks up. Oh, before I forget, this little scrunchy red line, I think, is... This is the, this is the leash. So, say you capsized and your boat turned turtle, you wouldn't want your mast to fall out because that would really suck. So, uh, just quick, to the right, we got there, that attaches the mast to the boat so you don't lose it if you turn turtle. Okay, next is the main sheet. This is our main sheet. So we're gonna go through the block, up through this block on the, on the boom, through this one. This is our traveler. We go through the traveler, back to the boom. So this becket here on this block and tie a bowline. at the end of this main sheet. I just tie a figure eight on it. This boat doesn't have a cleat for the main sheet, which is a little awkward because you have to hold it a whole time. And then maybe we'll add a cleat, but I'll have to talk to the laser guys to see where the optimal spot to, to put that hardware figure in. Figure eight saves you from turning your mainsail into a, from a sail into a flag pointed the wrong direction. So this uh, well, safety knot. It's all good. Windex, uh, you can just strap it right on to the mast. That's ready to go. So this is the laser's dagger board, and it slots right in here. Uh, again, another safety leash. Just wrap it around the boom and hook it on there. That way, again, if you turn turtle, your centerboard doesn't float away or sink, because that would be bad. All right, for right now, I'm just gonna leave this out because we're on the beach. So it, can just, it can just chill right there. Next is the rudder. Okay, so the laser does have a tilt-up rudder. It's a little fussy to set up, though. Uh, rudder goes into these gungeons, and this little locking tab keeps it from falling out. Ah, before I forget, don't forget the plug. 
there's a plug in the back to drain any water out that gets inside the boat, make sure it's in, because otherwise you'll sink. All right, so the tiller and the tiller extension need to put through the traveler hole here. And this line that attaches to the rudder slides right in this little groove. Tuck that in like that, and we'll go again through the clam cleat, back through the knot, and when we lower this down, we'll push this back through a second time and cleat it. That'll be ready to go. All right, at this point, you're ready to go sailing. Uh, I hope this was helpful for the club members. This boat is dramatically underutilized and it's a great benefit to be able to use a dinghy not worry about it sail and enjoy put it back on the dock all right just home. as a quick reminder for safety uh dress for the swim as west says don't dress for the sail dress for the swim the laser is tippy